while we export individual aberrations like defocus and astigmatism. Real-world optical systems often exhibit a combination of these imperfections. That's where Zernika polynomials come to the rescue. So think of Zernika polynomials as a set of mathematical Legos that we can use to build a model of any complex waveform distortion. Each shape in this pyramid represents a Zernika polynomial. They are arranged in order of increasing complexity from simple piston and tilt at the top to higher order aberrations like comma and spherical aberrations at the bottom. Each Zernika polynomial is labeled with a Z and set of indices that describe its unique shape and characteristics. A key feature is that they are orthogonal, meaning they don't overlap or interfere with each other. This makes them ideal for precisely decomposing a complex wavefront into constituent aberrations. So we can express any aberrated wavefront as a combination of these Zernike polynomials, each with specific coefficient that indicates its strength, its strength contribution. So you may ask why Zernike polynomials matter. Zernike polynomials allows us to quantify each type of aberration present in wavefront, giving us detailed understanding of the optical system performance. By knowing the specific Zernike coefficients, we can tailor corrective measure to target each aberration individually. This is crucial for adaptive optic systems, which can dynamically adjust mirrors to compensate for atmospheric turbulence. So, for example, here in this diagram, you can see a few, uh, one of the most common, a few most common uh, aberrations expressed as function as Zernike polynomials. You can see constant term, which is uh, piston. You can see tilt, tip tilt, where wavefront would shift according to x, according to x or y direction. Uh, you can also see a uh, defocus and its effects. We have different defocuses, for example, this one. Well, you can see also what happens when we have uh, astigmatism, how the wavefront changes in different directions, comma accordingly, and also spherical aberration. You can see this also spherical aberration through this on the focus.